I want to create a chart here that will allow me to read two curves on a single graph. In that manner I can find the intersection and I can determine the graphical solution for the TIO that we have in our spreadsheet. Probably the easiest thing to do is to highlight the columns that you'd like to graph. I've got one highlighted. I'd like to highlight that against the temperature. I'm holding the control key down and this is going to be combination number one which is the 9 by 9 single layer mylar. I'm going to hold the control key down and I've got my three columns highlighted that I'd like to plot. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to pick a scatter chart and there it is. That was pretty quick and painless. The only thing I have to do now is I have to put some uh, different titles on there and change a few things around. So I'm going to do that now. The easiest way to do that is to probably click on this titles bar here so that I can, you can see I have the titles added. And in this particular case, I want to get the temperatures over here. I'd like that to be on this axis. Oops. There we go. I'm going to control V that. And I'm going to move that back up just a bit. And then I'd like to do the same thing over here on this axis. So let's copy this. And let's place that down here under the x-axis. Control V that again. Alright, we're starting to take shape. Now that I've got these uh, descriptions here on the different axis titles, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need that anymore. But I would like to get a better chart title up here. And I think probably this 9x9 nine nine single layer mylar is probably going to be appropriate for this. And so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it right down here with a control V. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm kind of pleased with that. Now I can tell where the intersection of the 9 by 9 single layer mylar is. And the reason I can do that is you can see this graph here, which plots these guys against this line. And where we intersect down here, right at that point gives us our temperature. So according to this uh, intersection, if I were to estimate here, I'm going to say that that point is pretty close to about 65 or 66 degrees. Now that I have my first graph done, I've got my intersection. I want to do the same thing for the 19 by 19 single layer mylar. And I think I can maybe save a little time by just copying this graph and I'm going to paste it. And we're going to do that here. Now if I picked a picture like this, then this is a picture and I can no longer edit this graph and, and get it to change to the combination 3. So instead I'm going to paste it and now I can edit it. I'm going to move it over a bit. And I want to come in here and I want to put my new title on the top of this thing so that I can copy that cell and paste it down here. There we go. Now I can keep straight that I'm working on this column and I want to plot this column against this one and this one. Same as before except now we're going to expect this line to change. And the easiest way to change that would be to edit this now and change the data that we've got selected for that series. So let's go and open it up. This is the second series here. The first series is going to say the same. So we click on that and click edit. Since we've got that, now we can change the values here by clicking on this indicator. Now let's, we've got combo one or the nine by nine highlighted. 
Let's change that to combination 3 to give us the 19 by 19. And when we do that, we're back in business. We're going to save it out, and there we go. So now, let's take a look at what that looks like. We've got the 19 by 19 single layer mylar, and we've got the 9 by 9 single. So now, let's check out that intersection. So now this intersection is at 71.7, or almost 72 degrees. And we've got this intersection at 65, almost 67 degrees. So it's as you would guess. When we have a larger opening, we have more energy available, and the predicted temperature is going to be higher. Now we'd need to replicate this with the double layer mylar. And the double layer mylar would be the same process. We could paste it down here, but instead of using the values for the uh, single, we could use the values for the double layer. I hope that was helpful for you and uh, enjoy.